<laughs> I forgot how to film videos. I'm used to vlogging. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Danielle. Let's see, I'm a junior at the University of Georgia. I'm a Kappa Delta here. I do YouTube, Instagram. I have a podcast with my best friend Brooke called Gals on the Go Podcast. This is our merch, don't text, link down below. And I recently became a spin instructor. So I think that's a little good overview of my life, yeah? So I gave that overview because today I'm going to be doing a much requested video about how I honestly just balance it all. <laughs> with being a full-time college student and a full-time YouTuber, social media person, I don't really know what word, I don't like the word influencer, so I'm gonna have to figure something else out there. And newly a spin instructor and keeping up with my social life and stuff. There's a lot, there's a lot to do. Um, there are a lot of things that I want to get done and um, I think I do a pretty good job of kind of balancing it all and a lot of you guys have asked me to make a video all about this. I, we've made podcast episodes kind of touching on it and I've mentioned this in Q&As but I wanted to do a full on video just to kind of motivate you guys and kind of give an overview of how I schedule my life, what I do to plan, just kind of everything, how I stay sane, all the things. So. Yeah, let's get into it. And if you are new here and you like what you're seeing so far, subscribe down below. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday and yeah, it'd be cool to make the Dan fam a little bit bigger. Keep in mind, this is how I balance the stuff in my life. I personally want to maintain good grades in school. I want to graduate. <laughs> I want to have great friends. I want to keep my relationships that I have. I want to stay healthy and work on my fitness. So I want to be able to be a good spin instructor. I want to be able to go to spin classes and I want to be able to post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And I want to be able to post podcast episodes and record them with my friend Brooke every week. So those are like my biggest goals. Those are the things I'm currently working on. Sorry, I'm like talking my hands a lot. So those are the kind of things that I'm constantly juggling and also having me time. Me time is very important. A lot of people, um, especially when I became a spin instructor, just to add it on top, everyone's like, literally, are you okay? Like, do you have extra hours in the day? Like, I don't, I don't really know how you're doing this all. And what I kind of tell everybody, and I think the biggest thing to keep in mind, let's say if you're struggling right now to balance a ton of different things in your life or just to kind of maintain a healthy balance, remind yourself of why you're doing all those things and if anything can be reduced, minimized, taken away. I've gotten really good at saying no. I've gotten pretty good at saying yes too. I still have a bad habit of kind of saying yes to everything because I want to do everything. I have so many things I'm interested in, but there have to be times that you do have to say no and um, kind of remind yourself that it wouldn't be healthy. I literally always quote this um, line from Hannah Montana, Billy Ray Cyrus, and I forget what the context was, but he said, spread my butter too thin, now my toast is dry. And it just, I've remembered that quote since it came out. Like, I don't know, it really stuck with me. Basically, it's spreading yourself too thin, but I thought the butter thing was cool. Like, if you're literally trying to do so many different things, sometimes you can't fully do one of the things, and then it just kind of hinders you completely. Whereas if you focus on one to two to three things that you really, really love and are passionate about, you can be a lot more successful in those things. So it's always finding that balance between what's too much and what is a normal and a good balance. So that's something I still struggle with every day. Um, I still have a habit sometimes of saying yes to too many things, but I've gotten pretty good at it, um, at kind of identifying what is trying to be least selfish as possible, what is the best for me in this situation, and then deciding if that's the right thing to do. Because there are some times that you have to attend to things that you might not want to do, but you have to do or you should do to like help someone out, but there's other times where you might be giving too much of yourself out when you need to be bringing it back in. Whenever people ask me like, oh, how do you do it all? How do you balance it all? Here's the thing, I have a lot of things I'm interested in and that's just how it's gonna be, that's how I work. I'm a Virgo, I'm a type three Enneagram. A lot of you guys ask me my Enneagram number. I'm actually a triple Virgo if you're into that, like moon, rising, and um, my sun sign, obviously. So there's uh, Virgos are very type A, very like to get things done, very passionate about a lot of different things. Um, so that's pretty much me. And I mean, if you're not into horoscopes, that's fine. But I mean, I literally am what it is in the textbooks, okay? Not in the textbooks, in the, in the horoscope world. So with all that being said, I, since a young age, you can ask my parents, I'm a very motivated, passionate person. I have a lot of different interests and I want to do them all. I, I just, I don't want to not give something a chance, especially if I'm really interested in it. So for me, with having lots of passions, 
means a lot of time and effort put into them. So for me, knowing that I have all these things, I just have to make time for them. And that's something that you have to be willing to do and to kind of discipline yourself. So I started my YouTube channel in 2010 and I didn't really think anything would come of it and then it did and then I love it and I enjoy doing it and that's something I literally love doing so much. So it's not super hard to maintain because I love doing it and it's an outlet for me. Um, but yeah, I'm like constantly thinking about it all the time and now that I work with brands I have to work with my manager to work with like deadlines for brand deals And I also say I post every Wednesday and Sunday So I put pressure on myself to make sure I'm posting every Wednesday and Sunday So there is a lot there even though I enjoy it and then I also have school I am a junior at the University of Georgia I'm a fashion merchandising major with an emphasis in brand management and there's a lot of homework with that a lot of busy work actually um, which I wasn't expecting and there is a lot of it for the last like three to four years My favorite form of workout has been spin class rhythmic spin to be specific and I recently became a spin instructor um, And that all just kind of happened because I was passionate about it I was literally at the spin studio anyways. I was there four to five times a week taking classes I did um, Musicals and performance and dance in high school and middle school and I've always loved to perform So being on the podium and teaching a class was kind of a form of that so I think I was in that's why I was interested Interested. And when they approached me to kind of think about becoming an instructor and trying out, I was so honored. They literally were like, Danielle, I know you have negative time, but if you were interested, we'd love to have you try out to be a spin instructor. And I was like, and I did it. And guess what? I'm balancing it just fine. However, I had to talk to them and say, hey, I can only teach one to two times a week. I simply don't have time. And I, and I, I was like, I, you know, respect if that is not possible, but they made it work. And I'm, I sub for people sometimes, or sometimes I teach more than one class a week, but I, I had to limit myself there. So that's one way of doing it. You can be like, okay, let me dabble in this, but I can't go full force right now. So that's kind of how I was able to balance that. There is a lot of time in that. However, it also infuses back into my life because with being a spin instructor, you have to make up choreo, which I'm, I'm pretty good at, I'd like to say, because I did dance for a long time. And then I go to spin literally every day, so I'm always learning new ideas and movements. By choreo, I mean like, like when you're up, you're like doing wide presses if you go to spin you know what i mean or like crunches or like side to side obliques or like literally creating you know i don't why am i doing the mock right now oh my god no not that but there is stuff with that but since i'm kind of like naturally rhythmic i'd like to say it's not that hard and the other part of it is making playlists that definitely has become a little bit of a time consumer for me however i literally love music and i'm always on soundcloud i've been on soundcloud for years and i love it so much and so Instead of like spending hours at one sitting just trying to find all these songs when I'm on the bus on my way to class I'll go on SoundCloud and I'll try and listen to a ton of new songs I'll like skip through see if there's a good beat drop for a sprint whatever it may be and I'm actively doing things so I'm definitely um What's the word a um, Multitasker <laughs> that's the word. I'm definitely a multitasker and that's not for everyone um, but yeah, so I'm very like I kind of always have a thousand tabs open in my brain and I'm somehow able to kind of handle them And I think the way I handle them and why I'm filming this video is I have notes on my phone on my computer If you have a MacBook It is the best thing in the world Having notes connect to iCloud is the best thing ever because if I write a note on my computer Let's say I'm in class and I immediately think of something I don't have to like pull out a notebook and write it down I'm already typing my notes in class. So I just go to the notes app on my computer and I'll write down the note and then later on when I'm like at home I just can go on my phone and the notes have connected via iCloud and they're on my phone too And I know it sounds like oh so simple, but it literally changes my life So really anytime I think of something I want to do or want to get done or something that just comes to my mind I write it down immediately because when you're doing so many different things and you have lots of different interests It's very easy to get sidetracked if you will or to kind of lose track of it all so having this notes Kind of be my ride or die has been the best thing I've ever done and if you watched my after-school routine last week um, You should definitely go back and watch that kind of go into detail But basically all my notes it's not just like a thing of notes It's organized so and I, I mean in my notes I have like a ton of different like folders and tabs of all these different like my grocery list like spin songs I want to try different things, but I also just have one to do list and so it says to do and then um I have different sections. So the first section says school things to do because that's the important, that's the thing I want to see first. Deadlines, tests, everything, I need to see the school stuff first because I don't want to forget about it. That stuff is very important. So I have my school things to do and that I just write down as time goes. Like if I'm in class and my professor says, oh, like you guys have a pop quiz next Thursday, whatever it may be, start studying or assignment due tomorrow, I literally write that down right away and I check that those notes 
like every hour because I'm always just like what I need to do. Under my school things to do, I think it's YouTube things to do. Yeah, it's probably YouTube things to do. So it's like if I have a video due or if I have a video idea that I just came up with that I want to film when I get home from class, literally what I'm doing today. I was in class earlier and I was like, oh, I'll film this video today. It's perfect. So I just wrote up my notes really quick. Um, and then I have my podcast things to do. So like record with Brooke or figure out time to record with Brooke or record ads, whatever it may be. And then under that, I have a new tab called spin things to do. And in my spin things to do, I'll say, you know, make playlists for next Wednesday, come up with choreo. Um, I have to deep clean the bike every twice every week, just different things like that. Um, anything to do with that so that when I want to sit down and be productive or if I just want to get something done, I can go to my notes and think, okay, like what section of my life do I want to work on right now? And then I just go to that tab and I'm like, okay, like I'm going to do YouTube stuff right now. I'm feeling creative. I do that. And so it's very nice. You can easily switch your mentality because sometimes I'm in a very creative mood. Sometimes I'm in like school mode. Like I just want to like type, type, type. I want to like work. Um, I don't want to be thinking about myself. I don't want to be thinking about YouTube stuff. Or if I'm more of like a musical mood and more of a mood to like get up and move around and make some choreo, I'll go to my spin to-do list, if that makes sense. And then underneath all of that, I have the Excel list which is very long it's just random stuff that I've thought about in the last month or two that are things that I could get done projects I could start working on or just random things I need to do like I have like turn into disposable camera that I want to get film like the film back I have like send some merch to some of my friends I have like just like random things like that like literally like call your mom or like set up an appointment with your accountant like random stuff like that and so yeah that's how i organize it this make me thirsty so you guys are probably wondering about my planner i used to use the day designer planner i still love it so much i think it's the best thing ever it literally has a single day on each page and on each page there's like a ton of different sections there's a section for for every hour of the day so if you have appointments if you have classes whatever it is you can write them down and then right next to it, it has a to-do list it has an inspirational quote on the top and a couple other fun little sections and i loved it however with being a gal on the go these days, I don't always have my big planner with me. And it was becoming an issue. I was forgetting about things. I, I would find out about something and I wasn't near my planner to write it down and then I forgot about it and it just it wasn't working. So I transferred over to Google Calendar and I really had to say it's like the best thing ever. It's awesome. I love it. I'm like thinking about it right now and it's just the best. Basically, Google Calendar is awesome. I love it because it's kind of like iCloud in the sense that it's connected to your Gmail account, so if you go on Google Calendar on your phone, on your computer, on your iPad, wherever, it's there. And yeah, so my weeks get pretty crazy. <laughs> um, and I have different colors. I kind of color code it. Like usually if it's orange, it's for spin. Um, but each class, I have all my classes um, in my schedule. Like I know where my classes are and what time they are by now, but I just like to keep them there so I know that that time is blocked out. And it's just nice. I can see like, oh, this day is a little bit more chill than like, today's been or stuff like that but I love it and I have it set up so like 30 minutes before whatever it is that you have to do or have to be it alerts me um, and if I want it to alert me even earlier I can set it as that and you can also send Google Cal invites so if you know someone else that's using Google Calendar it's perfect because you could just send them an invitation and then you have all the info and the times in it and they just have to accept it and then it immediately adds to their calendar and this has just been the best thing ever and I've noticed more and more like if I book a hair appointment or something, you can make, you can um, press add to calendar and it literally adds to your Google Calendar with the address and everything. And if I'm like feeling it, it, let's say I have an appointment or I have somewhere I have to be when I put it in my Google Calendar, if I put the address in, when it's that time, my phone just like pulls up Google Maps and like it's time to go to this place. It's oh, so convenient. So Google Calendar has definitely helped me out a lot. It's really easy for me to see my days. I love it. I awesome so it's definitely been a good way to balance my life now I want to take you guys along on kind of a, a typical day in my life and how in one day I kind of balance it all I know all I've talked about right now is spin YouTube and school but I also do have a social life and I like to have fun and like to be around my friends and be with my family and have alone time and I know I haven't touched on that yet so yeah sometimes I kind of get ahead of myself and I I have weeks or days or certain times waves that I get in where I just want to be like work 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 I just I'm very focused and motivated which is awesome but I have to remember to kind of take a step back and chill and like be with my fam or my friends my fa so I go to school in Georgia my family lives in Tampa Florida my brother is a freshman at Furman University so I guess my family is just me calling them when I have time um that's another thing when I'm like walking to class driving anywhere that's the important time to like call your family because you're driving like might as well or listen to a podcast but like 
be productive, let's go. <laughs> I live with my best friend, which is awesome for our friendship because it's like we don't have to schedule time to be together. We're literally like, she's right there, Delaney. Oh, I thought maybe she's napping. I thought she'd be able to hear me. Also living with her has been really, really helpful and really nice for me to balance it, be all because she helps me take photos or helps me focus my camera, whatever it may be, and she's super supportive, which is so nice to have in a best friend and a roommate, and she likes to go to spin too, so we'll go together to that. So it's like definitely like one easy way to maintain our friendship. And then as for like my bigger friend group, like the other people that we don't live with, we always try and watch Bachelor together on Mondays, like little things. I see my whole sorority at Chapter on Mondays also, which is awesome. It's a great way to kind of connect with the people. And then usually on Thursday or Friday night, we'll all go out together, we'll go to dinner together. We try to do something like that. And then I honestly have classes with a lot of my friends, which is nice. A lot of them are also fashion merchandising majors or business majors, and we have some classes together, which is really nice. Obviously, I have a boyfriend, and he goes here, which is awesome because he lives right down the road, which is so convenient and so awesome. And um, I first when I started dating him I was so nervous that I like wasn't gonna have enough time to like for us to like hang out and I was like really nervous about it but like it's been really really awesome and it's just been I don't know we've like been able to balance it really well and he has so much that he's doing on his own that it works out perfectly like during the day we both just kind of like get our ish done which is so nice I'll take you guys along a typical Monday Wednesday whatever um, so I have class in the morning from 9 30 or no Mondays I have class from 10 10 to 11 and after that I have an hour break until my next class so in that hour break it just perfectly aligns that Ryan my boyfriend he has that same hour break so every Monday Wednesday Friday we always meet up on campus and we have like coffee breakfast lunch whatever we're in the mood for it's kind of like this weird time it's like at 11 o'clock so it's like whatever you want um, whatever it is we just make sure to meet up at those times just for like an hour and just kind of like download the day sometimes I'll have a test like in my next class so like be like hey can we just meet up for like five minutes like I need to like go study I can't just sit here for an hour or whatever but that's been a really good way for us to see each other we try to hang out like at least once during the week at some point whether it's like going to dinner or I've gone to the gym with him once he comes to spin with me sometimes or comes to my class something but we really try to keep uh, like most of our hangout for the weekend um, it honestly makes looking forward to the weekend a little bit more fun that's just kind of how we are we're not really that couple to like be together all the time but like I didn't want that neither does he so it's kind of perfect because we're both pretty driven people that we have so much we want to do so it's so nice. I mean, we like Snapchat throughout the day, all day. Um, we don't, and then we'll like call at night sometimes or like FaceTime. If we haven't like really spent enough quality time, we'll FaceTime or like I'll go over to his house for like an hour or two and just like hang out. Um, we're pretty like just like kind of sense how the week's going. Like if I know he has a ton of tests, like I'm not going to bother him a ton, vice versa. It's like a really good balance. So I'll go to class, meet up with Ryan, go to my next class. Then after that class, I'm done for the day. So I'll walk back here, I'll make lunch, and that's when I have a little bit of time to be creative and film my videos. That's usually the time that I'm in the mood to do that. So especially if I like wore makeup to class and like kind of tried for class, it's perfect. So then I get back and I'm already kind of done up so I can film a video or if I want to record a podcast with Brooke, I'll do it. Usually around early or late afternoon is when I do like YouTube worky stuff. After that, usually I'll go to a spin class or I'll teach spin. Then I'll come back and I'm a night worker when it comes to school. I really like to do schoolwork at night. I don't know, it's just how I am. Like, I also don't like to film YouTube videos at night because it's dark and it's like annoying. Like, I have to use my ring light right now and I hate it. It's not nighttime right now, it's only 4.56, but it's gloomy out. So yeah, so I'll do schoolwork then, and dinner, make dinner with Delaney usually, usually get back to work and then I'll get in bed and watch like a show of Netflix and then go to bed. So that's usually kind of how a typical like school day will work obviously it varies and then on Tuesdays and Thursdays especially um, Ryan and I have completely different schedules so we'll like meet up for coffee before class even starts like in the morning on those days and then the rest of the day I kind of just like get us to kind of get a ton of stuff done when I'm on campus I really like to take advantage of that because when I'm on campus I'm really thinking about school and I want to get work done like school work done so anytime I have breaks between classes I, I try and stay on campus and get work done instead of coming back home so like sometimes even when Ryan and I meet up on campus I'll be like doing homework at the same time so it's kind of perfect and obviously I'm not like a chemistry major so I don't have insane homework I don't have insane assignments um, it's all very doable and manageable like there's times now that there's still things I want to do like I really 
had always wanted to be on exec for my sorority, but I just figured I didn't have time for that. And I'm glad, but that's something that was sad for me. I was like, I mean, I had to have run and gotten elected obviously, but I didn't even run because I don't have time. But that's something kind of always what I want. It's kind of always something I wanted to do. I was on a dance team for a while here in Athens at Dance FX, and I just had to stop trying out and like being on the team because I did it for, I guess, two years? Or no, I really only did it for one year. And then the second year, they were like, you should audition again. I was like, I literally just don't have time. Like, I just couldn't give it my all. Um, so now I've found, like, a really good balance, and I'm really happy. But there's still times where I'm like, oh, I wish I could do that, but I just don't have time. And that's just something you have to be aware of. Oh, something I didn't mention. Um, so me time. Me time, I find that I get when I wake up early in the morning. So I've been doing that a lot recently, and it makes for such good days. If you can just wake up, like, an hour earlier than you're supposed to, or, like, even 30 minutes earlier, sitting, drinking tea, drinking coffee, making your breakfast... It's so important because I hate rushing out the door for class. Like if I rush out the door, I just have a bad day. It's just how it works. Like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I can get up at 9 and be to my 10, 10 class in time. But I like to wake up at 8 a.m. instead. So I literally have an hour to myself. If I want to watch YouTube, if I want to read a book, whatever. But it's better than like kind of being half awake. And like, you know when you wake up too early before your alarm and you're like trying to fall back asleep, but you can't? I'd rather just get up. And like, it's, it's surprising how fast you'll wake up. Waking up a little bit earlier in the morning so you can like have some time to just be with yourself is so important. And sometimes if I want to sleep in... I'll just take that time and use it at night instead. So like after dinner, Delaney and I will be like, okay, we're going into our rooms now, like silent friendship time. I come in here and I play relaxing music. I'll go on like Pinterest. I've been into reading magazines lately and just have time, but I have to find time every day. And also, again, I know I talked about this a little bit, but your commute is so beneficial. So like, let's say you take the bus to class. Like I ride the bus to a lot of my classes because they're far. I love that time of the day because I get to sit and find new spin music or I'll listen to a podcast and I love, I find bus rides so therapeutic. Or if you're walking to class, it's a great way. You can also listen to a podcast or call a family member, call a friend, get some stuff done. If you're driving, can't do all those things, but you can listen to a podcast, get some new information and listen to music or that can be your me time. I used to love my commute to high school in the morning. My high school was 40 minutes from my house and I loved it because it was just like a great way to start my day. By the time I got to school, I was caffeinated. I was in a good mood for my music. It's great. So definitely take advantage of your commute in whichever way you can. Ooh, all right, guys, I think we did it. I think I've talked y'all's ear off, but I had so many things I wanted to say and yeah, sorry if this was a little bit unorganized, but I tell you guys, that's how my mind works. I have like a thousand different tabs open in my brain and yeah, that's how it works for me. So you have the same amount of hours in the day as me. We have the same amount of hours in the day as Beyonce or whoever you look after. Um, so you got this. Just know if you're passionate about a ton of different things, all you got to do is just make the time for them and just work on your time management skills and you'll be good to go and learn how to say no when it's needed. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and continuing to support me. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel what you're watching right now. I post new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And yeah, follow me on Instagram too if you're feeling it. I love Instagram stories. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.